We had heard nothing but praise for the World War II Museum in New Orleans, which had been founded in the year 2000. So that visit became our first priority. It's a Smithsonian affiliate that Congress recognized as America's official National World War II Museum. Seven large pavilions occupy a seven-acre campus in the historic Warehouse District of New Orleans. Our visit lasted only a few hours, but it needed to last several days to do justice to this mammoth museum complex. Two architectural firms, Vorsanger and Matthies, collaborated to design this boldly dramatic home for the museum's 250,000 artifacts. Inside, we found interactive exhibits that drew on 9,000 personal accounts and oral histories to relate the American experience in World War II. The large atrium of the U.S. Freedom Pavilion was where I found several of the aircraft that fought in the war. Take a look. The ground war was highlighted in scenes like these. If you wanted to learn about a specific battle or a naval encounter, you could click on its name or location and get a recap of important details. One key role for women at home was to facilitate the mail. A cleverly designed exhibit highlighted its importance in maintaining morale for both the troops and their loved ones. V-mail, or victory mail, used microfilm to drastically reduce space needed to send airmail overseas. Between 1942 and 1945, more than a billion pieces of mail were photographed, sent by air, and reproduced on the receiving end in this way. At the end of our visit, our group assembled in what was called the American Sector Restaurant and Bar for some tasty chow and libations. <laughs> 